I have uh, something to tell you. An absolute game changer that's gonna allow you. That's just mind blowing. Well, they could use the space shuttle <laughs> in the big airplanes. I wish we'd have had some of the uh, footage from that flight. As pilots, we know innovation when we see it. But we also know good things take time. And now, after five years of development, it's finally here. Let's welcome the iLevel AP. Control an autopilot straight from your smartphone or tablet. Tell us more, Carlos. So we're controlling basically the ailerons, which is raw, and then the elevator, which is pitch. All controlled with an eye level. Your eye level AP is fully controlled by trim tabs. Tell us more, Ruben. With this trim tab, it's gonna put a force on the aileron, which is gonna put a force on the wing or the elevator, which is gonna move the airplane. No way, all of that is possible? This is a very safe way to control because it's not locked to your control system. Your control system is free to move, so you can override the autopilot anytime. Carlos, would you mind telling us more? This is what comes in the trim tab kit. Wiring harness, which goes in the instrument. This is the eye levels. We'll actually plug it in here. So we have the two extensions that go from the eye level to each trim tab. And you have both trim tabs here, one for the aileron, one for the elevator. We actually have the two servos to plug in here and you have the complete system. Of course, here you have the extension. This will be 15 feet from the eye level. That's incredible, Carlos. Let's call the developer of the app to ask her some questions so we can control altitude, headings, and VSI. Yeah, you can do a heading selection. You can hold that heading. You can select an altitude that you want to climb or descend to and hold that altitude. And you can change the speed at which you reach that altitude, your vertical speed. And you can also follow a flight plan if you're using the iFly GPS app on iPad and Android. And we also have now Aviator, which, you know, it's essentially any app that provides the flight plan waypoints to the autopilot via the iDAMO AP, then the airplane will be able to track your flight. I'm already blown away. You can just maybe choose an airport here. Let's choose an airport. It's a fly direct to this airport and click on waypoint navigation. And the waypoint navigation uh, will activate, the heading will turn off because now you are navigating and the autopilot will navigate the airplane to follow that uh, path uh, shown on the iPad. It will show here on top of the horizon, it will show you the distance and uh, to the next point and the name of the point. The autopilot can be configured to connect with the Garmin GTN 650, 750, or other comparable devices. Ruben, take over. You can navigate from your iPad or you can navigate from maybe a Garmin GPS or a Garmin uh, GTN 650 or, or a 430. The, the, all those readies have navigation. You can um, feed the data into the eye level through the RS-232 cable and choose your navigation. Plus, it has all the capabilities as the popular iLevel AW. It's not just the autopilot, you get the AHARS, so you can run synthetic vision applications, you have the ADSB for weather and traffic, you have a backup to your six pack with the pedostatic information, and you can do the GPS navigation. So, all the features of the iLevel AW now with autopilot integration. Wow, the iLevel AP is amazing. Tell me more, Ruben. With this app, all you do is click on heading, 120, for example, and the airplane will steer to that heading. 
see how the pin tap moves go to compensate until it reaches one two zero and then it will maintain that heading if you want altitude it's the same thing uh, you just click on altitude maybe three thousand feet now the altitude window will light and the airplane will take you to 3000 feet and now you can see how the trim tab changes with the pitch of the airplane it will maintain a pitch to to take you to that altitude it does have maximum pitch angle so autopilot should not stall the airplane by itself it will keep it at a lower angle than the stall angle this one will take you to the 3,000 feet and maintain 3,000 feet. All of that without having to compromise any attachments to your control systems. Carlos, tell us more. There are ways you can install this. This has two-sided tape, so you just peel it and stick it down here. So all you have to do is rig this cable either through the aileron or you can rig it outside if you don't want to cut a hole into your aileron. Another thing you can do, you can put the servo right back and then the trim tab in here. It makes it lighter for the flying surface, so you don't have to put so much counterweight on your aileron or elevator. And here we have another type of installation. So we've actually put the servo inside the... Oh, the wow, side. look at that. This is kind of the plug and play. But, I mean, if you if you want different options, some people want to do it in the actual thing of the airport. And you need a bigger servo for that. But still, you use the same eye level technology to move the servos. Can we use this in IFR conditions? No, we don't actually recommend it for IFR. It's, uh, it's something for experimental aircraft and uh, it, it flies really well, it flies really precise, but you know, IFR is IFR. I'm pretty excited to test this thing out. What do you okay. say we go flying? Let's go. Let's do it. Welcome to Avionics Reimagined. So I hope you liked it. <laughs>